This is what you need to know before committing to UConn. Hey there, I'm James, and I'm a second semester freshman at UConn. In the past seven months, I've taken classes at three of the campuses, visited four of them, and currently dorm at the main one in stores. I've learned a lot about the school in just a short amount of time, so I hope this video can be beneficial for those who have been accepted to the class of 2026 and are wondering if this school is going to be your home for the next four years. With that being said, here are the things you need to know before committing to UConn. I think the top thing on my list is the different campuses and what they can offer you. UConn has five different campuses spread across Connecticut. The main one is at stores and then there's four regional campuses, Stanford, Waterbury, Hartford, and Avery Point. And each of those campuses is catered to a different type of student. The stores campus is what you think of traditional college. There's Greek life, there's traditional dorms, and there's a ton of clubs, people and opportunities. If you were to think of the word college, this is what would come to mind. The Stanford campus is where I started off in my first semester, and this is more geared towards business finance majors, whereas the Waterbury campus is geared towards general studies, English majors, and also business majors. The Hartford campus is geared towards English, social work, and also business as well. And then the Avery Point campus is more geared towards majors about the environment. Stanford is the only regional campus that has housing, and their housing is like nothing you've experienced in a college setting. The fully decked out apartments with granite countertops, in-house laundry, and it's typically two bed, two bath. The rest of the regional campuses are comprised of commuters, so there's no housing at any of them. I spent my first semester at UConn Stanford, and in all honesty, it just wasn't for me, but it might be for you. It kind of felt like high school because there was only one academic building, so I would go to one single building for all of my classes, and that just wasn't for me. I felt really limited in the amount of clubs and opportunities and people that I could meet, so that's why I transferred over to the stores campus for the spring semester. Number two is campus size. So this is only going to apply to the main campus in stores. So they get from one end to the other. It's about a 20 minute walk. And if you're someone who doesn't like walking, there is a bus system that can take you around campus. In my experience, walking and taking the bus has been pretty equal in terms of how long it takes me to get there. And then sometimes if I miss the bus at one stop, I'll sprint to the next stop and hop on the bus there. I prefer walking over taking the bus because you get to learn more about campus and where all the buildings are located. And when it's really good weather, you just can't miss out. Sometimes I like to walk around campus and if I haven't been in that area, I'll get lost and then try to find my way back which can be pretty fun and it can be pretty entertaining to just get lost and figure out where I am. The third thing I want to mention is that it's a big population but a small community. And what I mean by that is there's around 32,000 students, I believe, including graduate students. So there's a lot of people to meet and a lot of friends to make. And I know this is easier said than done, but don't be afraid to reach out to people. And plus, once you have a couple of friends, it's easier to make friends because those friends will introduce you to their friends and you can grow your friends from mutual friends because it's kind of like a small community in stores and people know each other. The fourth thing I wanted to mention is that it's a really big basketball school. So whenever there's a basketball game at Gamble Pavilion or the Excel Center in Hartford, you'll see students lining up to enter like an hour to an hour and a half before the ball drops. I mean, stores is nicknamed the basketball capital of the world for a reason. We're known for having a pretty good women's and men's basketball team, but the men's just lost in the March Madness. So if basketball is your thing, then definitely get tickets early because they sell out really quickly and they're also free for all students. My next point is that stores is kind of in the middle of nowhere. So if you don't have a car, public transport is going to be your best friend. And as a UConn student, you get a free ticket to all state run public transit and you can use that as many times as you want. And literally last semester, I used that so often to go from Stanford to stores. And that was just such a hike. It was four hours one way and I don't even, don't even know how I did that. Some of my friends complain that it's in the middle of nowhere and there's not a lot of things to do on the weekends, but I always find something to do, whether it's YouTube or whether it's just hanging out with friends or whether it's photography, there's always something for me to do. But for others who like to go out party on the weekends, it can feel a little bit limiting and a little small in that regard. But if you're looking for things to fill your time with, you can go to Hartford on the weekend. There's also a shopping mall in Buckland, which is massive. Or you can pick up on your long lost passion. So I'm pretty confident you'll find something to fill your time with. And before I move on to the next point, if you found this video helpful, click the like button so this video can spread to more people and more accepted students can learn about UConn. My next point is that housing for freshmen can vary drastically. So whether you're in Worth Tower or you're in North Tower, it's going to vary a lot. Worth Tower is literally like a hotel. It has its own AC. It's the only traditional double housing that has AC for each room. And it's just amazing. If you can get into Worth Tower, I think you'll really like it. As for North Residence Hall, I've heard mixed reviews. Some say it's the worst, some say it's mediocre, but Worth Tower is probably the best housing for freshmen you can get. I lived in the honors dorms in Shippey, my freshman spring semester, and those were pretty good. I think those are a little bit better than the regular housing for freshmen. It's further away from the academic buildings than I would like to be. It's basically right next to downtown stores. 
So it can be kind of a hike to get to classes, especially if I'm in a rush, but it's not too bad. I actually do like the housing and I like the people that I'm with and I do like my floor. My second to last point is to get to know your professors and your teaching assistants on a personal level because as a freshman, you'll, you'll be taking general education classes and those can be in large lecture halls from 100 to 200 students. I don't want to say you're just a number, but you know. So if you can, and if you have time, and if you want to, you should go to the office hours, get to know them, email them a little bit. Uh, and sometimes if you create that bond, you can do research for them and that will help you after college. My last point is about making friends. So this might be easy or difficult depending on the type of personality that you have. Personally, I have a really extroverted personality, so it's really easy for me to make friends. But if you're on the more introverted side, it might be a little bit more difficult to, for you to make friends. My tip for all those introverts is to see if there's a commonality between you and the person that you want to be friends with. So whether it's sports, video games, your major, classes that you're taking, or anything really, that can help strike up a conversation and get the ball rolling. I also recommend joining different activities. So whether that's a club, a learning community, Greek life or sports, that will really help you make friends and it won't be as awkward as going up to someone and just be like, hi, do you wanna be friends? Because that's super awkward. I joined Mario UN and the Human Rights Symposium, which helped me create friends within my first semester, even in a campus four hours away. So if I can do it, anyone can do it. I hope that was really helpful for all of you accepted students. And if you have any questions or if you wanna talk more, you can DM me on Instagram at James L. Shung, and I'll be happy to help you in any way I can. So that's all I have for today. So if you enjoyed, click the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you next week.